welcome back a warm welcome to you so in the last video we have seen how to calculate the length of the perpendicular from a point to a line right and you remember what's the formula so suppose let me say something like this is the line and this is a point from which you are calculating the perpendicular distance this is right angle ok and this line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 this point is x1 comma y1 and what's the formula we have seen the formula we have seen in the last video is a into x1 plus b into y1 plus c divided by square root of a square plus b square right? this is nothing but equal into distance d distance d equal to this in this video we will see how to find out the distance between two parallel straight lines there are couple of methods <coughs> we can do both of them or we will do one right so how to find out the distance between two parallel straight lines one way to make it simple is let us say these are the two lines between which you want to find out the distance let me say this is one line these are two lines ok right this is ax plus by plus c2 equal to 0 and this line is ax plus by plus c1 equal to one way of doing it is let us take any a point on this line right so whenever you want to find out a point on a line generally what we do we try to put x value as 0 try x equal to 0 that will give you a into 0 plus b into y plus c1 equal to 0 this gives me y equal to minus c1 by b so I know that 0 comma minus c1 by b is a point on it actually if you see the graph this point will be something like this right if you see the original graph we are taking this to be convenient like horizontal but actually the graph will be something like this you have two parallel lines ok two parallel lines so what are you saying you are saying that ok take the point here where x equal to 0 right and try to find out what is the y value somewhere here right x equal to 0 try to find out the value this this point you got now you want to find out this distance let me repeat that here for convenience we have placed them horizontally but any straight line ax plus by plus c0 will make two intercepts right there are two parallel lines these are actual parallel lines in graph what we are trying to do we are putting x equal to 0 so we got y intercept that's nothing but the point 0 comma minus c1 by b now it's like earlier problem only right you have the point and you want to find out distance from a line so you can apply the formula as it is right are you with me so what is this point 0 comma minus c1 by b now what i want to do i want to find out this perpendicular distance so this is a point and you want to find out a perpendicular distance this is nothing but like our earlier problem whatever we have done so this is nothing but saying that from 0 from 0 minus c1 by b 
from 0 minus c1 by b you want to find out the perpendicular distance to the straight line ax plus by plus c2 equal to 0 now substitute in this formula this formula whatever we have substitute in in 1 ok if I give substitute this in 1 what will be the value a into x is 0 plus b into y y is nothing but this is x1 this is y1 ok just for convenience I am just putting there so that is easy for you ax1 plus by1 plus what's the value of y1 minus c1 by b plus c2 by square root of a square plus b square what is this value this value is nothing but equal to bb cancels this becomes 0 so c2 minus c1 by square root of a square plus b square since the distance cannot be negative we will put a mod so this is nothing but the distance between two parallel lines distance between two parallel lines there is another approach let us do that one also right ok we will do the second approach I will erase this second approach we don't have this point right we are not going to take we are not going to take actual point we are going to take a imaginary point and we are going to substitute at the end the result will be the same only the way you are representing it is same but the method is same now what is the second method second method is what we do in second method is we take this point as x2 comma y2 we are assuming that x2 comma y2 is a point on ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0 now from this point you want to from this point you want to calculate the distance to the line so it's nothing but again the same formula so now the problem is distance distance from distance from x2 comma y2 to the line ax plus by plus c2 equal to 0 right? now let us substitute in the formula what this becomes this is my x1 y1 right now this is my x1 y1 and this is the equation so what this becomes a x2 plus b y2 plus c2 by right root of a square plus b square correct right now let us see what we are going to do here see here we are saying x2 y2 is a point on this line right if x2 y2 is a point on this line then automatically a x2 plus b y2 plus c1 is equal to 0 please observe this right what we are saying if x2 y2 is a point on this line then it should satisfy this equation that is a x2 plus b y2 plus c1 equal to 0 now what I am going to do is I am going to say this is nothing but equal to ax2 plus by2 
plus c1 plus c2 minus c1 by root of a square plus b square. The, just now we have said that ax2 plus by2 plus c1 right okay this is the line equation sorry just now we have proven since it's a point right it automatically satisfies that so this whole thing is zero are you with me this whole thing becomes zero this is nothing but this whole thing becomes zero so zero plus c2 minus c1 divided by square root of a square plus b square nothing but c2 minus c1 by square root of a square plus b square that's how we calculate the distance between two parallel lines let's summarize this before we close up with a we go we move to an another example move to example and this okay now see here earlier in the last video we have find the length of the perpendicular from a point to the line what we have done in that is we have we know the line we found the perpendicular line we found the point of contact then we have found the distance using the distance formula that formula is with us that's x1 plus b1 plus c by root of a square plus b square now we have to find out the distance between two parallel lines so the approach will be to take a point on the line there are two approaches in first approach you can directly take a point which satisfies the line then you can apply the formula whatever we have done earlier that's number one second approach you are taking a arbitrary point x2 comma y2 and you are calculating the perpendicular distance but you are e you are saying that if that line is a x2 y2 is a point on the line then it should satisfy this condition using that condition and manipulating you are saying that the per the distance between two parallel lines is nothing but their constant difference divided by their coefficients of x and y square square sum of squares whole square root okay that's nothing but distance between two parallel lines now let's go ahead and see one simple example on this right now let's find out the distance between two parallel lines 5x plus 12y distance between two parallel lines what are they 5x plus 12y minus 20 is equal to 0 and 10x plus 24y minus 14 is equal to 0 so what will be the formula will be applying will be applying the formula c2 minus c1 by square root of a square plus b square so can i go ahead and substitute the values 20 and 14 should i go no right i should not do that why i should not do that because we are saying ax plus by plus c1 and ax plus by plus c2 that means the coefficient of x and y in both of them should be equal so i'll convert this into i'll convert this into which way i'll divide whole by 2 divide by 2 so that okay this becomes both the coefficients are same 5 5 12 and 12 now i can apply the formula because both of them are having the same coefficients minus of what is this value 7 equal to 0 now this is my c1 and this is my c2 not 14 okay please remember that always you should have they should be in the form of ax plus by plus c1 plus c2 so if you have been given this line as multiple of that line please try to bring both of them to these two this is how it should be right both of them should have 5 to 5 and 
12 to 12 okay so that you should have a and b equal right now what is the formula now c2 c2 is minus 7 minus of c1 is minus 20 divided by square root of a square plus b square that's nothing but 5 square plus 12 square that is nothing but minus 7 plus 20 divided by square root of this becomes 25 plus 144 that's nothing but 13 by square root of 169 is 13 this is nothing but 1 so the distance between them is 1 so if I am able to draw in a graph these two lines the distance between them is 1 okay so I think hope you are clear with this concept right nothing great in that it's very simple right okay see you in the next video where we will do some more problems okay thank you bye